Humans use number of natural resources for their survival. With the increase in population and advancement in science and technology, there is a great demand of natural resources. The overuse or wastage of natural resources would lead to imbalance in the nature. So, conservation of natural resources is required. Conservation is the wise and judicious use of all natural resources. Its main aim is to maintain the quality of environment and to ensure their continuous availability throughout the year. Wildlife sanctuaries, national parks, biosphere reserves and protected areas for conservation of plants and animals present in that area. Plantation, cultivation, grazing, felling trees, hunting and poaching are prohibited there. Sanctuaries Sanctuaries are the areas where animals and their habitat are protected from any disturbance. National Park National parks are reserved for wildlife, where humans can freely use their habitats and natural resources existing over there. Biosphere Reserve Biosphere reserves are the large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife, plants, animal, resources and traditional life of the tribals living in that area. Biosphere is that part of earth in which living organisms exist or which supports life. Biodiversity refers to the variety of organisms existing on the earth, their interrelationships and their relationship with the environment. Many species of plants and animals are found in the forests. Do you know what are species? Species is a group of populations which are capable of interbreeding. This means that the members of a species can reproduce fertile offspring only with the members of their own species and not with the members of other species. Members of a species have common characteristics. Our biodiversity is at threat due to deforestation, excessive chemicals and overuse of natural resources like coal, petrol, wood, etc. Many species have been lost and more are on the verge of being lost. So, we have to conserve our biodiversity by growing more trees, avoiding cutting off trees, banning hunting, reducing the overuse of exhaustible natural resources. Flora and fauna The plants and animals found in a particular area are termed flora and fauna of that area. Cell, teak, mango, jamun, silver ferns, etc. are the flora of Panchamari Reserve. And chinkara, blue bull, barking deer, cheetal, leopard, wild dog, wolf, etc are examples of the fauna existing there. Cactus, Opuntia, Camel, Snakes forms the flora and fauna of the deserts. Endemic species Endemic species are those species of plants and animals which are found exclusively in a particular area. They are not naturally found anywhere else. A particular type of animal or plant may be endemic to a zone, a state, or a country. Sal and wild mango are two examples of the endemic flora of the Panchamari. Bison, Indian giant squirrel, and flying squirrel are endemic fauna of this area. Various island groups such as Hawaii and Galaspagos Islands have large number of endemic species. Wildlife Sanctuaries Wildlife sanctuaries provide protection and suitable living conditions to wild animals. These sanctuaries are places where killing or capturing of animals is strictly prohibited, but harvesting of timber and collection of minor forest products are allowed. 
there are 492 sanctuaries in our country. Some of the threatened wild animals like black buck, white-eyed buck, elephant, golden cat, pink-headed duck, gharial, marsh crocodile, python, rhinosaurs, etc. are protected and preserved in our wildlife sanctuaries. Indian sanctuaries have unique landscapes, broad level forests, mountain forests and bushlands in deltas of big rivers.